Hello everyone, it's Miguel Sam Possible. Miguel, my name is Taffrey16, and welcome back to another reaction video, and welcome to my 19th reaction to Still Games. So today, we're going to be doing a one in, one out. It is the seventh episode of the sixth series, the last episode of the sixth series, and the third to last episode before the show ended the first time. Uh, after this was Plum Number, the Christmas special, and the Hogmanay special, Hootenanny, both of which I've seen. I believe this is the second episode I've seen uh, from series six i've also seen uh hyper which was two episodes before this wait that was the fourth reaction i did for reference which at this point was was that 2019 might have been jesus that was a long time ago but one in one out let's go ahead and watch it dvd theme dvd theme. oh that didn't go away oh there we go my mouse is still When I duck, my green screen red screen is weird. Hmm. Maybe it doesn't like yellow. Makes sense. Never thought I'd find myself in a bloody baby store. Yeah, why are you in a baby store? <laughs> I know. It's like a supermarket. They've got everything. For Toys, or? plums, sterilizers. It's mental. Yeah. That's Tom doing a financial haul. Oh, yeah. You? See, your new mums want all this stuff. It gives them peace of mind. Everything's got to be just perfect, you know? That's for Tam. What about this? No, we'll get him something to wear. What about this? He's a week old, for God's sake. You grow into it. Ah, in about 12 bloody years. <laughs> yeah, we'll get him a wee sleep suit. There's your change. Oh. So, which one of you is the new grandfather? No, it's my pal that's had a baby. Your pal? Aye, <laughs> he's 70. Was it in the paper? Oh, I read about that. You will have the work cut out for them there, eh? Oh, half, aye. Uh, <laughs> Cheery bye. Cheery bye. Oh, I hate to pause, but I just wanted to make sure. I heard, I, this is a slight spoiler I was given. You, usually I don't like being given spoilers, but this one was fine. Um, somebody told me apparently, uh, they retconned the baby when they brought the show back, and I, I wonder why. Was there a reason given on why they retconned the child, or was it just they didn't have a story for it? They might just, it might have been that simple, to be honest. They probably just didn't have a story for it, but if there's a deeper reason, let me know. Look at this. £125. <laughs> It's a clown. Oh. It is a clown. It's, it's obvious it's a clown. You're a clown. Have you seen the price of cots? I can't tell you as much I've fought to in baby stuff this week. What do you make saving somewhere? Has, has Francis seen this? Oh yeah, no. There's splinters sticking into an Everton town. <laughs> what the hell's this? Do you bend that back in? Oh, Francis well. is going to take one look at that and order you to smash it up. How was she? My father built my cot. It's a tradition. Your father was a joiner! <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. Here. Here's an idea. Why don't you get a bit of string, wrap all this shite up and make a mobile for the wee baby? <laughs> <laughs> Tam Mullen, 0200. Uh-huh. Yes. Oh, that, that, that sounds nice. And who would be paying for that? <laughs> business class. Well, I, of course, business class. I, I. A room? No, 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 no. You see, we need a suite because we'll be taking the baby with us. Right then. Speak to you in the morning. Where's my best side, boys? <laughs> that side or that side? What are you talking about? I'm going to be on Lorraine Kelly. Really? <laughs> Bloody hell does Lorraine Kelly want the likes of you? Um, Francis is Britain's oldest mother. It's news. They're going to take us down and put us up in a fancy hotel. Honestly, Tam, see if you fell in the Clyde, you'd come out with a salmon in your mouth. <laughs> I'm going to look at my good suit. Oh. <laughs> Should've knocked that one back in, too. <laughs> Took the earful. Lorraine Kelly. <sighs> Tell you this, Jack, Tam may be down there rubbing shoulders with the famous, 
but he cannot do what we are doing. Sitting there drinking beer? not doing anything. Exactly. Tam's not going to have any time to just do nothing. Sit, relax. That's a good a point, actually. Can, feet up. Good point. No. No way a newborn. See, what Tam's done is he's took the natural order and he snapped it. I mean, the way it's supposed to work is you're born, you grow up, you get a wife, then you have wains, then you work your tits off bringing them up. Then they leave, you get to sit in your house, smash them. Aye. Sounds good to me. Tam's got it all upside down. I mean, what age is he? 70? New Wayne be Christ. I mean, what's he going to do, right? When that boy's 16 and all full of himself and gain it, I'm going out to get steaming drunk and smash windies and sniff glue. Tam's sitting there well into his 80s, giving yeah. it. No, you're no. Mm. Maybe that's I why they're wrecked on him. You old them. bastard, you're not going to end. They thought he'd be silly, I don't know. <laughs> Tam's he, get he gets up, arms like knitting needles. <laughs> I'll stick one on your bloody chin. <laughs> then the boy goes, sit in your arse, you know, prick, while I'll rifle through your pockets. Oh. <laughs> oh, you need your strength to keep a boy in line. You've got to be young. I wouldn't have swapped places with Tam for all the tea in China. No, me neither. It's a lot of tea. Who's that? Hello? Right. No, I don't know what you should do either. Piss it off. <laughs> Whoa. That was Tam. That's him in a hotel. Says he doesn't know whether to have a big steak sent up to the room, beast into the mini bar, or have a splash in the jacuzzi. What a douche. Coming up after the break, I'm going to be meeting the couple who've just had a lovely wee baby. Yeah, Where's the news in that, I hear you ask? Well, the mother of that baby is 64 years of age, and that makes her Britain's oldest mum. We'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How's him? him? Tam we're talking about here. We'll have wangled a fee. Uh, hotels and that flight something down to London. I don't think they pay guests on the types of shows, you know. Lorraine Kelly will be hoovering all the money yeah, into for herself. Aye, maybe you're right, aye. There'll be nothing left for any other silly bastard. Uh, yeah, she must be padded. Aye, uh, she's padded. I always wondered that. A wee ride into the bargain. <laughs> <laughs> Do people get she's paid to go on talk to That drives me off my nut, Aye, uh, she's my number two after Judy Finnegan. Oh, way the fuck, Christy. You would take Judy Finnegan over Lorraine Kelly. That's like refusing a Ferrari and taking a Morris Minor instead. Damn. You're getting, Jack. A Morris Minor's got their big sticky headlamps. Still to come, this season's sassiest shoes with our Mark from the High Street, of course. First, though, let's meet Francis and Tam Mullen. Hey! hey. Absolutely gorgeous. What have you called him? Well, he's only a week old, so we're still negotiating. Um, I like Christopher. Frederick, Crawford, and I really like Augustus. I think that sounds quite noble. Don't name but Tam Augustus. doesn't agree. Oh, what name are you holding out for then, Tam? Tam. Tam. <laughs> what gives you? Well, look, there's Big Tam and Wee Tam, or Old Tam and Young Tam, if you like. Right. I quite like <laughs> Augustus. No, no. Tam. OK, Francis, <laughs> what's it like being Britain's oldest mum at 64? It's quite strange. We never planned it, that's for sure. Uh, no, no, we did not. No, <laughs> did not. Saying, you know, but you're both no longer young. Have you got a network of friends that'll help you out with babysitting and things? Well, it's quite tricky. I've only got my sister and she lives down the coast and Tam doesn't have any family. Uh, but we've got a good pal, Isa, who I'm sure would love to babysit. That right, Isa? Oh, hey, hey, hey! <laughs> oh, it's a... By the way, I got nothing against the name Augustus, but if you name a kid Augustus, he's just going to get memed on constantly with Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory jokes. Don't do it. Special Isaac, it's been on the telly. You're first in line for a using. Hey! 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 If it comes to my door looking for a babysitter, that'll no be in. <laughs> so, how are you coping with the sleepless nights? Well, I'm no spring chicken myself, Lorraine, and I'm a wee bit set in my ways. I like a can of beer. Well, a few cans, really. So during the night, I'm generally comatose. Snowing a bit. She ain't really got up. I ain't even hear it greeting. It? Aye. Uh, until we've agreed on Tam, it's getting called it. Oh! Oh, he's just 
condominium out on national television. Okay, and um, Francis. Now, there's been a lot of media attention over this birth, hasn't there? You're on here, for example, and I'd imagine that companies have been in touch, you know, offering you complimentary baby items, things like that. Eh? So, Francis, what I really uh, wanted to talk well, to you well, about... Well, put your foot in the brake, sweetheart. What was that about complimentary baby items? Well, when something so special, you know, like this happens, big companies fall over themselves to associate their goods with, with you. So you'll get free baby items, toys, nappies, that kind of thing. So has that not happened? No. Uh, how do we go about that? Well, well I'm sure they'll be in touch. Uh, well, well, let me give you the details in case you need to get in touch. <laughs> <laughs> 0141 They can't really give that out. Oh, shush, you know, sweetheart. <laughs> Sam and Francis Mullen, 25 Ratlock Road, Craig Lang. Tam, you can't do that. And the doorbell's not working, so let me give the door a chat. Aww! Damn it. He just doxed himself on live television. Hello, oh. Francis, then. Oh, Tam. Oh, how's your wee bundle of joy then? Oh, he's grand, Jack, thanks. <laughs> oh, he's were good on the telly. He's going to be pissed when he finds out about the internet. He's a couple of keepsakes. Oh. <laughs> Mugs. Yeah, off to the Maff Lorraine's table. I'll let you give them a round suit, they're still done. Oh. Welcome. He's going to do us a favour, could you? Rough. Seen that coming. Look after the Wayne for a couple of hours. Well. We're kind of busy. Uh, well, we're going to ask Isa, but she's no in. No in? On a Thursday. <laughs> Isa! She's normally in. Isa! Bastard! <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, we need to go into town to meet a media agent. A media agent? Aye. The phone's been ringing after hooks since Lorraine Kelly. Company's phoning us up wanting to do deals with our products. I no, wonder why. That. Baby stuff. It's big. Well, how long are you going to be away? Without the Wayne, we're being out in two hours. Okay, we certainly sound asleep, mind you. Aye, but for how long, Jack? Ah, how long? Exactly, yeah. Oh, he'll be sound now for a good three or four hours. I just fed him. No. Nope. If he wakes, just heat up the bottle in his bag, give him it, and he'll go oh, back over. Heating up bottles and that. <laughs> his ass oh, gonna wake up dear. as soon Aye. as you leave. Thanks. Aye. Right, is that the time? I better be getting off to the bookies. Hold the lift, you two. <laughs> so, to recap, oh. we are offering two years' commitment. You'll never have to buy a single nappy. Thanks, Susan. Finally, Brian. Brian's with First Taste Baby Foods. What has happened to you both, Well. It's a beautiful miracle. And we at First Taste Baby Foods would like to wish you well. You're cringe, Brian. Having a baby can be a stressful time. And we would like to be the ones to help. You know what would help me? What's that? Wads of cash. <laughs> Wads of cash. Ah. Let me tell you a bit about my background. I am a dirty, miserable bastard. <laughs> am I famous for it? I come from a long line of tight arses. It's in my blood. And I'd like to think that when the wee fellow, when he grows up, he too will be a dirty, miserable bastard. <laughs> now, my good lady here is Britain's oldest mother. Now, that's worth something. I know you know that. Free nappies, bibs, food, talcum. <laughs> nah. Then <laughs> they want to talk about money, do they? You're clearly a, a very shrewd man, Mr Mullins, so uh, I would like to revise our offer. How does this sound? A five-year advertising campaign fronted by you and your wife with your baby's image on every jar we sell, and from every jar we sell, we'll pay you one pence. One pence? One pence a jar? One pence a jar. How many jars do you sell a year? Twelve million. Oh. <laughs> Can I borrow your calculator? <laughs> <laughs> yep, there it is. Oh, this is no use. I can still hear it. It's like a bloody fire alarm. It's cutting through me like a knife. Oh, I'm going to kill that bastard and this skinny white thing is back here. It's four hours. Let me do something. 
Bro, heat up the bottle. What are you doing? Why is it greeting like that? I don't know. Maybe it shat itself. Hi, well, I'm not getting involved in that. No, me neither. Don't you both have kids? Don't you door again. She'll know about today. I'm going to get a bottle. They wreck on your kids, too. <laughs> Is it? You know fine well what it is. Come and get a hundred of this baby. It's pulling the place down. Then, <laughs> <laughs> oh, then, my wee lamb. Come on, me. Shh. Oh, Isa, you're a genius. <laughs> Jack, come see this. Jack. <laughs> Jack. Oh, shit. That was a hell of a fright you gave me. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. There's nothing to apologise for. I thought you were dead in that kitchen. I don't know what happened. I just felt the lights going out. What's caused that, Doctor? Well, we don't know. We need to find out why he blacked out. Uh, we're going to put him in a ward, and the next thing will be an angiogram. A watergram? It's nothing to worry about yet, Mr Jarvis. We inject some dye and check that your valves are working. It's very routine. So is his heart? It might be. That's what we're going to find out. Now, I'm afraid you're going to have to excuse us. Jeez, did not see that coming. Victor. Hmm. Victor. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, how are you feeling? Oh, not bad. How long have you been sitting there? Three hours. The way you got up the road, you look grey friars bobby there. <laughs> no, no, I'll stay with you. I'll no die on you, on you go. Right, I'll go to your house and I'll let myself in. And I'll get your jammers and that, you know? I'll get you food, a magazine, juice. I'll do you up a wee kit bag. Oh, and I'll bring your tranny. I'll come straight back. His what? And jelly babies. You love them. It's ten o'clock at night, Victor. You can deal with that in the morning. No, I'll do it the night. You do the same for me. We've got to watch out for each other, Jack. We haven't got anybody else. I'll be away one hour. Oh. Thanks, Victor. No bother, Jack. That's adorable. Uh oh. Morning, Jack. Oh, I thought he was about to dream. Morning, Victor. Ah! Oh. I know. What the fuck? I took a dizzy turn when I was leaving the hospital last night. I went down the stairs, he'd first. Boof! Unconscious. I never even made it to the bus stop. Oh, yeah, you stupid bastard. That's me with no jammies, no juice, no jelly babies. You all right? Yeah, well, I've bashed a couple of ribs and my wrist is humped. Oh, and here's the rub. I have to get one of the um, angiogram thingies and all. It's my Damn. fault. I shouldn't have pissed after the bookies and left them. I feel bad. No, if I'm just to blame, it's me. If I'd have opened the door and taken away, then this might never have happened. One pence a jar. I should have pushed for two. You know what, you bastard? You're a ball head away for getting a boot in the stones, eh? There's the boys there lying up in hospital, and all you can think about is how much money you're going to make. Well, you steady on, Winston. I'm worried about Jack and Victor and all. Selfish. But who, me? Hi, you. Yes. You've I been selfish, Tam. Sure, Because I didn't character. want to drag the man into the tune in a freezing cold day. How is that selfish? I don't see why I'm getting a blame for all this. That way is your responsibility, Tam. It's only a week old, and already you dumped him off in folk. I have not dumped him in anybody. Jack and Victor are friends of mine. I trust them. I don't just go leaving my way in with anybody. Mr. Mom, your baby's gonna have to snore, and it totally won't stop crying. Now I'll take it back to school. Now stick his dummy in, son, about in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Away you go, you daft old poof. 
Hey. You couldn't handle going up the road yourself, so you threw yourself down the stairs at the hospital just so you could jump into the bed next to him. Shut your hole. <laughs> so you've hid all your tests. Aye. It's just about lying here waiting now. Well, likes a grub. Dynamite. Aye, that boy Jimmy Oliver comes in every day and cooks it fresh at the bottom <laughs> of the bed. <laughs> Aye, he did me a big plate of scrambled egg this morning with a lovely thing all through. What was it called again? Superbug. Smash it. It's a quick hour, isn't it? Yeah, you're not saying much, Tam. Ah, well, they two have been giving me it tight since I left the Wayne Bees. Ah, well, that's the end of that, then. These things happen. How are you getting on with that free stuff? Ah, they're talking about making an advert, putting me and Francis in it. Is that right? Mm. That's magic. Here, Jack. I've got this for you. Keep you warm the night. Hey, they've got blankets in here to keep them warm the night. Put that back in your pocket. Busted. Yeah. Hey, I've done them a couple of filled rolls. Would that be okay? That'll be fine. Hey, smash. Right. That's us off. See you later. Afternoon, gentlemen. I have your angiogram results. If I could have a word with you first, Mr. McDade. Oh, it's all right. You can speak in front of him, son. He's an old pal. Okay. Well, well how we've he's had leave. a look at your tests and we've diagnosed you as a clumsy bugger. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with your heart. But what I would suggest is you make sure you're eating properly and uh, try not to do too much running around at your age. Right, old son. So uh, I'm fit to go? Yes. I have a quick word with the nurse and you can go home. Right. Uh -oh. I can't believe you're getting out. I can't believe you're no. What do you bypass? So when are they saying? Oh. Wednesday, two o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, he's going under. Right. I've got a theory, you know. A game What's theory? That? One in, one out. Aha. Uh -huh. What are you talking about? Well, Tam and Francis, they've got the new baby. That's a new life in Craig Lang. And by my reckoning, that means some old duffer's got to check out. Make space for it. Some up the stairs making a balance. He called it. That's uh, why they retconned the baby. You're not getting yourself the best What in, one chance. back what out. <laughs> garbage like that, are you? No, I'm worried, Victor. Listen, Jack. We've been through a lot of stuff together. A lot of hard shit in my time. But their time isn't it done yet. This is, this is what the Yankees call a, a curveball. Yes, actually. And if he's throwing you one, you, Jack Jarvis, you've got to, you've got to bat it out of the park. Victor. Aye. Where is it you get all that shite? <laughs> <laughs> Half all the crappy movies they show in the afternoon. <laughs> Wednesday, then. Wednesday. Oh, look, will you listen, Fiona, darling? Look, take a telling. I don't want you here. <laughs> no, there isn't any point. Mm -hmm. I hear what you're saying, aye, but look, I'll, I'll, I'll be doing and I'll be back on the board before you know what's happened. Anyway, I've got Victor here. I know that. I'm, I'm no frightened, so that's all it that matters, isn't it? Well, <laughs> well, you know me, I'll not die in my bloody bed. <laughs> Right, as soon as I'm about myself, I'll, I'll give you a call. Now listen, darling, I don't want you worrying, right? OK, right, well, kiss the boys for me, all right? OK. I love you too. Right, yeah. Right, well, that's my money. I'll see you later. Hmm. All righty, bye. What you all wanting? Whiskey. I'll take a sherry, Tam. Get a lager. Put your money back in your pocket, Tam. No. Yo, 
Oh, man. Oh, how are you doing, darling? Brass came anyway. Where's my dad, Victor? He's not gone in yet. I didn't think you were coming. Jack says he'd tell you not he comes. When did I ever listen to my dad, Victor? Dad? Oh, Fiona. <laughs> I thought I told you to stay at home. How are you feeling? I'm just tired, darling. How long is the operation, Doctor? I can't really say. Generally, it's fairly routine, but I'll not kid you on. When the patient is this age, this procedure has a good deal more risk involved. Now, of course, we're going to do our best for him, but we really need to go. Don't worry. Well, I'm worried as my dad is old. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, shit. Uh-oh, the light, brother? Oh, shit. It's Arceus. Oh. Is that his wife? Ah! Where the bloody hell are you going? <laughs> I'm going to Jim Victor. It's time. No, it's not. Sorry, darling. I kind of need him for a wee bit longer. Jack. Jack. Out the way, Victor. No. Get down the stairs. Back off, ya spooky bitch! <laughs> Mum, shut your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Holy oh, shit! <laughs> Jackie boy, back off! How are you feeling, Dad? <sighs> I was right there. Holy was shit! Else that was. Where? Saw your mother. Uh, she was beautiful. She was young. That's the way I remember her. That's good, Dad. You called her a spooky bitch. <laughs> did I did not. Hey, you did. As if I'd call her that. When was this supposed to happen? Up there. I called you Mrs. A spooky bitch. Oh, <laughs> uh, you did, and then you shoved me down the stairs. You know your tits on morphine, Jack. <laughs> At 64, I'm Britain's oldest mum. And when you're that bit older, you're that bit wiser. And that's why the obvious choice for our baby... Tam Junior. ...has to be I got First him. Taste, original organic selection. First Taste. Still doing it after all these years. Your box. And cut. Great. Red well done, you both. That was terrific. Thank you very so, much. So, um, when do the new jars hit the shelves, then? Oh, it'll be about three weeks. About the same time the advert's coming out. Uh, excuse me a second. Hello? What's wrong? Uh, you got paper? Paper. Give me the paper. What page? They're retconning the child. Oh, no! Put the lights on. That's us out of here. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I I'll do it for half a pence a jar. <laughs> Fuck. There'll be no door baby anymore. <laughs> Back off, you spooky bitch is an all-time line. <laughs> that is an all-time line. I gotta say, if that was... Well, I guess that wouldn't have been the show finale originally, but that would have been the last... Uh, 
series episode. I mean, that, that would have been a, a pretty good one to go out on had it ended there, to be honest. <laughs> God, my, yeah, I, I still want to know why they retconned the baby. <laughs> I'm actually curious now. I might just look it up if nobody tells me. I, I bet you there's no reason. I, I, I bet you it's just that. I, I bet you it's just... I bet you the reason is, oh, we didn't have a story for it, so we got rid of it. Or we thought the story was ridiculous. That, that's probably it. There's probably no deeper meaning beyond it, to be honest with you. Poor Tam Jr. But that was a never good episode of Steel Game. Uh, so yeah, I've done two episodes from Series 6. Uh, if you have any suggestions what episode I should do next, uh, let me know. I've done 19 episodes so far. I can't name off the top of my head every episode I've done, but you can check the playlist to see what episodes I've done. Uh, and uh, that is going to do it for another Steel Game reaction. Again, leave suggestions down below uh, for what episode I should do next. And uh, yep, thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, mm. Excuse me, uh, be sure to like the video. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitch, where I stream every single day, my second channel, first you can use my Twitter, if you want to follow me on my Patreon. If you want to support me on my daily motion, all things are in the description down below. Thank you to all of them currently recording 112 of my patrons. If you can't support me on my channel, for example, you can be Patreon me for as little as a dollar or one pound. You get access to direction videos as well as reading your comments up to a day early, and your name in the description as well. Also, in the description is a link to, to the community Reddit, as well as the daily schedule, as well as the Twitch files channel, all that being said, though. My name is Taffer's Teen. This has been my 19th reaction to Steel Game, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.